Hello Clash fans, Trample Damage coming at you today with a surefire methodology for defeating the Dungeons and Clash of Dragons challenge. This one is a little tricky, and I actually did have, there were 16 other creators in the program that I ended up sharing this solution with, just because it was a pretty complex one to crack, but we're going to show you how to do it. Uh, before we jump in, of course, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and use code Trample and all that fun stuff. And check out my podcast more than anything else. Check out my podcast, Inside Clash with Trample Damage. It's just me rambling for periods at a time, but check it out. We're going to start with a single Earthquake spell over here to damage all of these buildings. We're going to get the Scatter Shots, these two Scatter Shots, and these two Inferno Towers, plus the Expo and these two Mortars with an Earthquake spell. And then we are going to drop, drop six lightning spells to destroy this mortar and the scatter shots. And then we're going to put one lightning on the backside to deal a little bit of extra damage to these inferno towers. Then we're going to put the other two earthquake spells to damage the rest of the inferno towers. And we are then going to sacrifice balloons all the way around the perimeter here. We're going to deploy nine balloons to get some traps and a baby dragon to get an air seeking air mine here. Then we're going to go basically all the troops except for the super dragons and the minions over here. Then the queen will take the town hall and she will take the super dragon. Now there is a fun trick you can do if you deploy the inferno dragon here. You could then put two invisibility spells back to back and allow the inferno dragon to take the town hall. Unfortunately... You still have to deal with the super dragon and it causes a lot of problems for your your troops anyway and i don't like dealing with it in this fashion so we aren't going to use that version because it's a little trickier and honestly we don't need to the cool clash of dragons scenery buy that is 30 bucks 32 dollars in the u.s if you buy it of course use code trample so we'll go ahead and deploy the earthquake spell right here and we'll go one two three four five six lightning spells and then one on the back side between those then we are going to start sacrificing some balloons. One, two, three. Get those air mines. There we go. Four, five, six. We'll go seven, eight, nine, and a baby dragon for the last one. All right, now we're going to go dragon, 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 electro dragon, electro dragon, warden in flight mode, stone slammer up top, and the inferno dragon. Now we're going to go... Earthquake and Earthquake. Want to get all those Inferno Towers. At this point, when that Expo goes down, this one right here goes down. We can put our Queen. She'll head in toward the Town Hall. And we can put the Poison Spell to get the Super Dragon and then trigger her ability. The Super Dragon is going to continue coming her direction, though, because it's going after the Unicorn. And once that stuff goes down, she could sometimes get that Inferno Tower if we use some invisibility, but it makes it a little more complicated, so we're not going to bother. We're going to go ahead and send the Royal Champion on the side here, and we are going to go ahead and let her get nice and close to these Inferno Towers and then trigger her ability, and she will start taking all that stuff down. She's going to move in and pop, 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 pop. If we wanted to, we could use the invisibility spells to try and keep her alive for a little bit longer, and we don't really have to, but it's actually not a terrible idea. So we're going to do that. Now, at this point, those Teslas are popping up, so we're going to put the king in here, trigger the Barbarian King's ability. We can invisibility the royal champion again just so that she takes out all that stuff, and that this is going to go down so easy. Here come three super dragons. This is why we did all the pre-work with the balloons, because no more spells. No, I mean, uh, no air traps to worry about. When the scatter shots get engaged attacking the troops, we can go ahead and trigger the Grand Warden's Etern not the Eternal Tome, the Healing Tome. It'll help see us through toward the end. Now we're going to go ahead and put the minions. Sometimes the clan castle will get targeted by some of our dragons because they will go in there to be targeting some of the Inferno Towers. But just go ahead and save the minions so that they can take down that clan castle. There's not a whole lot left that can deal much damage to our dragons. And we've got basically like three super healthy super dragons with a raged Grand Warden and, of course, the Electro Owl if it's still alive. This is a very easy way to take this challenge down. I strongly recommend you share this with your clan mates and use code TRAMPLE and subscribe and check out my podcast. And of course, these are some of the best guides. I make the best guides for these things. So always make sure that you're checking out my channel for these guides. And uh, that's it. Enjoy, share with your clan mates, and we will check you out on the next video.